All right, here we go. Episode one of our Marvel United painting series. A couple people messaged me asking if I was going to do this. I wasn't going to. Uh, a buddy of mine happened to pre-order it, and I saw some miniatures and said, oh, I'll give a couple of worlds, see if anybody likes it. If anybody watches it, more people want to see it. Then I'll keep painting them. If not, you might be one and done. <clears throat> we'll see. I want to say thank you first to our YouTube members. Uh, you guys are awesome. Um, and obviously send me a message of what you guys want to see painted because you guys get first dibs. If this is the first time with the channel, or if you're a returning person that's seen a couple of my videos and you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Come on, you know you want to do it. All right, first thing we want to do on this uh, Hulkamania is uh, scrape off all those nasty mold lines. There's not that many. Um, you can also put some green stuff on the cracks that he has by his biceps, but I decided not to because you don't really notice it when you're staring at the miniature. Uh, once you're done with that, hit it with some gray. Now you can use a spray can or you can use your airbrush like I am doing because I'm about to use airbrush again and you're gonna see why and why it makes this miniature not that long to paint when you have an airbrush. Once your miniature is fully dry from the priming, take some Lauren Forest and mix it up into your airbrush. Now, if you don't have an airbrush, you can attempt to do it um, with just a brush. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's just going to take you a lot longer. So we're going to spray the entirety of the skin in Lauren Forest on Hulk uh, to include the feet. Now, if you get some on the base, it's not a big deal. We're going to go over that at the end. You can get it anywhere you want. It really doesn't matter. Once dry and you're satisfied with your coverage of the Lauren Forest, we're going to take some Auric Flesh and we're going to start hitting that from the top portion. Uh, really working on the muscle region of the shoulders, chest, back, feet, um, and really working and seeing if we can make those highlights predominantly there. Now, if you're painting this, just paint over the entire thing and you're gonna see, as long as you're thinning your paint, you're gonna see that Lauren Forest kind of stick up from the bottom and that's what you really want. It's gonna be that nice bright green, uh, that Hulk green mixed in with that Lauren Forest. And this is what it should look like, pretty Hulkish. Once that is fully dry, we're gonna take that original Lauren Forest and we are gonna start working into the cracks and crevices uh, of Hulk. Now, we're gonna try and make some two-tone variation. And what I mean by this is we're gonna create some of that shadow effect without not using a shade. Um, and if you're looking at the card art or the art provided by a cool mini or not, you're gonna notice that when you're staring at Hulk, he has some green two-tone coverage on the front. Now, I didn't do a whole lot on the back, but I'm going to really paint in that front. So if you're looking at it, you can see the two colors of green while you're staring at them. and it should look something like this. To give it a little bit more depth and make it look as chibi as this chibi is, we're gonna take some Abaddon Black. We're just gonna draw in some lines in random areas where we just put that Lauren Forest down. Now this is gonna create like a cartoony, obviously chibi 
uh, comic book effect on our Hulk. And that's kind of what we're looking for. We're not trying to make this look like a regular miniature where you have shades and then brightness and darkness. You want to make the transitions look smooth and you want to make it kind of look like a comic book character or in this, uh, in this instance, a cool mini or not chibi. For our mouth area, we're going to do some Screamer Pink. For our teeth, we're going to be using some white, and we're also going to use this on our eyeballs as well. So take your time on this and don't rush. For the pupils, we're going to take some Abaddon Black and make those in there. Now, take your time on this as well because you only get really one shot at this. So, use a nice fine point brush and put that in there. Take that white once again and put a tiny, tiny little speck in the middle of that black. And that's all you're really going to do for the eyeballs, gives it a little bit of depth. Brighten up the tongue just a little bit, take some pink horror and slap it on that little tongue. And for the hair, we're going to take a 50-50 mix of Abaddon Black and Mechanica Standard Gray, and we're going to put that on the hair, a vast majority of it, and it's going to create that nice tone variation of black to gray to a little bit grayer as we can match the card art the best we can. So to do that, we're going to take some Mechanica Standard Gray, just straight up, and put that on top of our head of our Hulk. Now when I contacted my buddy about what kind of pants he wanted Hulk, I gave him gray or purple as the option, he wanted to go with purple because that is the OG Hulk with the purple pants from when we were children. And I think it was the right choice because I think it turned out pretty good. So we're gonna start with Nagaroth Knight and put this all over our pants. Now make sure you're thinning your pants and it should take two to three thin coats after it is fully dry. So take your time on it. Next, take a 50-50 mix and make sure you are thinning your paints of Nagaroth Knight and Jean Stiller Purple. And we're going to start putting this on the raised purple areas. And we're really going to work on the two front thigh areas. That's kind of our focal point of this purple on our pants. And we're just going to build those highlights up just as much as we can. But we don't want to overdo it. Um, we want to keep it dark purple with a little bit of light purple. And finally, for the final highlight of the pants on Hulk, we're going to take some Lamia Medium, about two drops or two brushfuls of Lamia Medium to one brushful of Jean Steeler Purple. Now, this is going to make a very thin, almost like wash type paint. And we're going to put this specifically really on the front portions of those pant thighs. And that's going to create the light area of purple that we're really looking for. We're going to also do a little bit on the sides and on the back as you're following along. While you're doing that, you want to take a break, head over to nerd.nights over on Instagram. Subscribe over there so you don't miss anything. Next, we're going to do our best ability to paint some nails. Now, um, there you can kind of see them, you kind of can, so just kind of draw them in there like you would think that they would be there.
Now as Hulk himself is done, we're going to switch over to the base. And the first thing we're going to be doing is some Mechanicus Standard Gray on the rock areas. And you'll see why we're doing this here in a second. Uh, after you're done with all of the rock areas, now don't forget that there is a little piece of, looks like, uh, steel beam that we're going to paint here in a second. But take some Prexetti White onto a dry brush and hit those bricks up. Do not hit the feet. Be very careful. Um, hit those bricks up with our white. And then like I had just mentioned, that metal beam, paint that thing with some lead belcher. Um, yeah. For all of our areas in between, including those little pieces of rubble, um, you can get crazy with it and try and go around it. There's just not enough space for me to do it, and I just didn't have the patience to do it, so I'm just painting all those little rocks underneath the bricks with some Agaros dunes. And you're gonna maybe see a little bit of green stick through, so once it dries, you can put through. Mine didn't come through at all, so I didn't really have to worry about it, but just in case yours does. And next we're going to take some Griff Charger Gray, another contrast paint from Citadel, and we're going to paint those rocks. And you can notice instantly that when you paint that with this color, those highlights come through and it really looks like a brick that Hulk just smashed through. Might be another focal point of this miniature besides Hulk himself. And finally, um, take some Mechanicus Standard Gray. I know we're using that color a lot, but whatever. And paint the rim of that base because that means you're done. And look what you did. You crushed it. No pun intended, because you are painting the hole. But I know you did awesome. If you want to see more of these videos, please, please, please send me messages, comments that you want to see more of Marvel United. If you don't, and there wasn't very many views, I'll get that you don't want to see it, so I won't paint that many more. So let me know in the comments below. And until next time, paint on.